angle properties of a circle in the figure below TAD and TB are tangents to a circle center O angle ATB is equals to 50 degrees and angle DAC is equals to 65 degrees the diagram is there with all the angles indicated A find giving reasons the size of the following angles 1 angle TAB 2 angle TBC 3 angle ACB given that the radius of the circle is 8.4 cm calculate the area of the minor segment cut off by the chord BC so let's go to the first part uh, where you're supposed to giving reasons the size of angle TAB TAB so which is angle TAB uh, TAB is this angle that is here now which property are we going to use here uh, this is the property look at tangent TA tangent TA and tangent TB those two tangents are equal they are equal why are they equal cause tangent tangent to a circle from a common from a common external point external point which in this case the external point is t are equal tangents to a circle from a common external point in this case t are equal so tb is equivalent to ta that makes triangle tab to become an isosceles triangle that one is an isosceles triangle and in an isosceles triangle we know that the base angles are equal therefore angle tba should be equal to angle tab so these two angles are equal and since we have one angle of that triangle is 50 so we just need to get the remaining angles we just take 180 which is the sum of angles in a triangle subtract one angle you get 130 130 represents the two angles that is angle tba and angle tab so because they are equal we divide by two and this one will give 65 degrees so we have used the uh, that point base angles of an isosceles triangle that is a property of use so that angle is 65 so we should fill them so this angle is 65 and this one is 65 which is angle tab let's go to part two angle tbc angle tbc so tbc you can see the whole of that angle so angle tbc includes two angles that is angle tba so this one is equal to angle tba plus angle abc plus angle abc when you add the two we'll have angle tbc so we need to get angle abc abc how do you get angle abc something i want you to look at yeah that angle dac which is 65 angle DAC, DAC is equals to, look at that angle, DAC, it is this angle that is here, is equivalent to this angle that is here, which is angle ABC, is equals to angle ABC. Reason, these are angles in the alternate segment. They are angles in the alternate segment. Angle DAC, I want you to look at it again, angle DAC is equals to angle abc so this one should also be 65 since angle dac is 65 angles in the alternate segment so now that we have that angle we can now get angle tbc which is a combination of the two angles 65 plus 65 so angle tbc tbc is equals to 65 that is for angle tba plus angle abc which is a 65 degrees and this will give 100 and 30 degrees so the reason you have used there is angles in the alternate segment let's go to the part three angle acb angle a c b is this angle that is here so again for that angle the same property is going to apply so i want you to look at this angle t a b look at angle t a b so angle t a b that angle is equivalent to so look at that angle angle t a b t a b is that angle is equivalent to angle ACB. ACB is that angle. ACB, angle ACB. These are also angles in the alternate, in the alternate segment, and they are equal. So uh, angle TAB, which is 65, should also be equal to angle ACB. That one should also be 65. So angles in the alternate segment so this one is supposed to be 65 degrees both of these angles are equal 
So therefore angle ACB is equals to 65 degrees ACB. You throw with that. Given that the radius of the circle is 8.4 centimeters, calculate the area of the minor segment cut off by the chord BC. So look at chord BC. It cuts a segment. This one is the minor segment that it cuts. BC. You're supposed to calculate the area of that segment. Given the radius of the circle, so we draw, if we draw the radius there, we form a sector. And this one is 8.4. So we have a sector of a circle formed when we join BO and CO. And to get the area of the sector, we need this angle at the center here, which we don't have, but you can get it. I want you to remember this property. The angle subtended at the center of the circle by a chord. And in this case, chord BC subtends an angle at the center of the circle. That angle should be twice the angle subtended at the circumference by the same chord. So in this case, chord BC subtends angle BAC, angle BAC at the circumference. So angle BAC should be half the angle subtended at the center of the circle by the same chord. So I want you to look at angle BOC, BOC. So this is what you say that the angle subtended at the center of the circle by a chord and in this case the chord is bc is twice the angle subtended at the circumference the angle subtended the circumference is here bac so you need to get bac bac possible to get that because this is 65 65 this is a straight line the sum of angles in a straight on a straight line should be 180 so 65 plus 65 130 so what is remaining 50 degrees so that is 50 that is 50 the angle subtended at the center of the circle should be twice that, and that one should give 100. So now we have the angle at the center, we have the radius, you can go on and calculate the area. So I can extract it here. So we have we have that. So this is a BC, the chord A BC, this chord BC. Then we have the segment there, this is 8.4, this is 8.4. And we have the angle at the center, which is 100 degrees. So to calculate the shaded region, which is the main segment that is required, we need to get the area of the whole sector, which is going to be given by this formula, the area of the sector, given by theta over 360 pi r squared. Then we subtract the area of the triangle, triangle OBC. The area of that triangle, you're going to obtain it by using a half AB sine theta. So this now will give the area of the minor segment. So theta, in this case, is uh, 100 degrees divided by 360 multiply by pi which is 22 over 7 times the radius which is 8.4 squared that gives the area of the whole sector obc then subtract the area of the triangle which is a half ab is the radius a is the radius b is the radius so that will be 8.4 squared times sine of 100 degrees so working out this one using a calculator, this is what you get 100 over 360 times 22 over 7 times 8.4 squared we get 61.6. Then for the area of the triangle, a half times 8.4 squared times the sine of 100, you get 34.744. When you subtract now, you get um, 26.86 centimeters squared. And that is the area of this segment, 26.86 centimeters squared. And that is how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.